we turn this up and on. That looks good. Yeah, it's doing a really good job of just targeting that foreground region versus the background. One of my favorite new features in the new on-one effects is depth masks. Essentially, it allows you to target the foreground and background subjects. I really like to use these local adjustments here. So I'll just add an adjustment. And let's say we want to illuminate the foreground. I'm just gonna pull up on the exposure a little bit with my local adjustment, maybe some mid-tones. So in the masking dialog here, to create this depth mask, I'm just gonna go down to this little icon here, click on that. And if I view this, you can see it's targeting that foreground section versus the background section. And then if you want to mess around with the strength of that mask, you can use the level slider here. Yes, yeah, so Dylan, the white areas are going to get most of the effect. So yes, with the masking, white reveals, black conceals. So with this white area here, this is applying the local adjustment to this specific region within the foreground. And gray will get less. Exactly. I'm going to exaggerate it. And then we'll view the local adjustment. I'll just hide that here. If we turn this up and on. Oh yeah, that looks good. You can see, yeah, it's doing a really good job of just targeting that foreground region versus the background region, which is really helpful.